Klaus Jurgens joins me now from Vienna. He's a political analyst specializing in EU-Turkey relations. Klaus, thanks so much for speaking to us. So with the U.S. and Turkey so firmly on opposite sides of this operation, can we expect the EU to take a position here and perhaps back Turkey's stance as a neighbor and a NATO ally? Yes. I would hope so, that the European Union actually helps Turkey in this regard, because the worst thing that could happen is that a terror corridor would be established at the southern Turkish border, 100% leading to regional instability, and then crossing into Turkey, and uh, the entire region would basically uh, be in turmoil. Now, what Ankara would need is a clear commitment this time from the European Union not to leave it alone, but at the same time understand why it is vital that there is no terror corridor, no PKK affiliate in Syria, only planning to create chaos and mayhem and anarchy and terror, first of all, south of the Turkish border, definitely one day soon trying to cross into Turkey. Okay, but do you think firm EU support for Turkey would change the dynamics here and put real pressure on the United States to change its stance? Well, if just this once the European Union would live up to its expectations, not only patting Turkey on the shoulder with regards to the refugee crisis here and there, but actually say, you are territorial integrity is at risk. We will lobby Washington. We will lobby together with you, NATO, to make sure that just this once, hopefully, you are not alone. It could actually work. I'm pretty much sure President Trump would listen if strong words, friendly words, diplomatic words, but nevertheless strong words are addressed on behalf of Turkey towards the Trump administration, on behalf of the European Union. I think it could actually work. Let me ask you then your take on this very complicated geopolitical landscape we're witnessing. As a partner in the Astana process, can Turkey depend on Russia here for its support in this operation? And then where does that leave Russian support for Bashar al-Assad? Well, that is a very good question. Uh, many observers have said that there is always Moscow in the mix, whatever the topic will be with Syria in the past, at present, and in the future. I would not immediately expect Moscow to drop its support for uh, the people in Syria, which it has supported all these decades. Uh, I do not expect that they would want to have a confrontation with Turkey at this time, but they are waiting whether Turkey can actually muster the support we spoke about in your earlier question. If it's only Turkey, if it is perceived as this is just a one-country mission to safeguard its borders, Moscow might actually say, well, uh, we have a lot of influence and interest in Syria. We will tell our Turkish friends, please stop any further incursion into Syria. So the situation is indeed highly, highly volatile, very dangerous. I would hope that my first scenario would come true which would then help Washington to make a much more profound stance. And at the same time, it would stop Moscow from doing anything silly if this term is allowed as a political commentator. But the situation, you're right, it is absolutely terribly dangerous. And uh, one more time, I really would like to stress this, that uh, after the coup attempt in 2016 and the reluctance West reaction, now is the time because Turkey's integrity, Turkey's territorial is integrity is indeed at risk should this co terror corridor with over 30,000 trained militia and PKK sympathizers really establish a stronghold and then probably only doing one thing, looking north across the border. Okay. Klaus Jürgens, we'll leave it there. Thank you so much for that from Vienna.